Hey guys, how's it going? Uh, so today I'm going to be changing out a jet pump or a pressure pump for a house and a pressure tank. Uh, I'm going to show you guys how to do it and kind of go, you know, go around the system and show you how and why the system failed. Um, so first things off, uh, we have the jet pump. So with these ones, these pumps anyways, the ones that have the tag right here, uh, that one says F98, that pump's from 1998, so it's old. Um, so you always want to check that stuff. Uh, before you do any kind of work or you go buy a pump, check what was in there before. Um, this one says J7S. This is a Gould's pump. This is, these are top of the line pumps. Um, the the next best one uh, under this is a Grumpus or Grumpos, whatever, however the hell you say it. Um, anyway, so J7S is a three quarter horse. Um, it's you got J7S, you got J5S, which is a half horse, and then you have a J10S. That's a one horse. Um, you know, anything after that, it's you know, that's why you gotta look at your system, see what you got. Um, so, as you can tell from right there, it says J7S. I don't know, can you guys see that? Right there, you probably can't see it. Um, or you can look right here on this tag. So, it, you can't see, well, yeah, you can. See how it says horsepower? All right. Come on. It says horsepower in there somewhere. It says horsepower right here. Then you go over, it says three quarter. Damn, I don't know if you guys can see that. It's really blurry in here. Or not blurry, but dark. Anyway, so that's a three quarter horse. Um, it's a 240 volt system. Um, you can wire them up for 110, but the 240 is going to cost you less in the long run in electricity 110 is going to be higher amps uh so like with this thing right here you'll see it says amp load max load um 14.8 amps when it's running that's on 110 volt that's a lot um, and then you have max load for 240 which is 7.4 that's that's cut in half, guys. Cut in half. So run 240 if you can. It's better. Um, so you know this this system. What had happened is their pressure would go all the way down and it'd trickle and it'd shut off the whole system for a little bit and then turn back on. Um, so yesterday my coworker came out here. Um, he went through the system, told the guy what was going on, and he looked at the date on the pump in 1998. This thing's well past its time running. They only last, you know, about, if you're lucky, 20 years. Uh, some can last longer. It just depends on how you take care of them, if you take them apart, clean them all the time, stuff like that. I have a pump on my system in my well that is from 19... 87 I think yeah 1987 I've taken it apart cleaned it rebuilt it so that pump's still going strong it just depends on how you maintain your system uh, so now that we're done dealing with the pressure pump oh Ow, this knife hurts gotta get it out of my pocket all right so then we got the pressure tank This is a steel tank. It's, oh, it doesn't have water coming out of here. What's he talking about? So the coworker said there's water coming out of this. Um, maybe, maybe not. I mean, it is pretty rusted. You got rust on it right here. That's not good. That's just a, not, 
don't know. Mm -mm. You see your tank like that and it holds water or air, get rid of it, buy a new one. Okay, so this is equivalent to a 50 gallon tank. Um, the one I'm gonna put in is called a, a PL50, a H2 PL50, it's a um, composite tank. So it won't rust, but around here we have a big problem with rust. Um, so anyway, so you do that, take care of all that stuff, check what you need, uh, tank PL50, you know, get a 50 gallon tank or something close to it. Um, I would say a 35 is too small and a 22 is definitely too small. So it'll get you a mid-sized tank, um, especially if you have a three quarter horse jet pump. I mean. If you're gonna run a three quarter horsepower pump, get a bigger tank. Uh, so the PL50 that they have here is perfect size, it works fine. So they had a chlorine injection system in here. Uh, they haven't been using it in a while, so I took all that out. Uh, it's, it was wired up right here through this conduit over to the pressure switch, which is behind me right here. As the pump turns on, the chlorine injection pump would send water or send chlorine into the house line going to the house to disinfect or, you know, take care of bacteria. They're not using it. They were going to take it out. So I'm going to take all that out, uh, remove the wiring, all that stuff. I'm going to leave it here because he wants it left here just in case something happens and they want to put it back in. So. Um, yeah, let's see here. What else? What else? What else? I think that's it. Yeah, that's it for now. Uh, so, I'm going to kind of change the plumbing a little bit. Um, and I'll take you guys along for the ride. Oh, yeah. Okay, so... As you can tell, I mean, this thing, this pump house is small, not very big. There's no lights in here. <laughs> I gotta use my flashlight. <laughs> uh, and then it, I don't, you probably probably seen my other video, the sand master or a sand separator. That's what that is. It's got an auto flush. Like I said, we put in, normally there's a valve on the bottom. You open it and blow it off. These automatically cycle themselves and clean them out. It's really nice. You don't have to sit there and babysit it. It's annoying. Um, so anyways, yeah, that's that's the well. So that fills the storage tank that's right on the outside of this wall. Uh, and then they have a calcite filter here. And that takes care of the, the pH and a little bit of iron. Um, yeah. Okay. Oh, yeah, that one felt good. Ooh. So uh, when I get all set up and ready to get all my tools out, I'll get you guys back on here and show you what's going on. See you in a minute. Okay. Ow, metal grate. Damn, that hurts. So, time to start cutting. I like ripping shit apart, it's fun. So first things first, um, we gotta, disconnect all this stuff so you got to take the stuff off the wall right here that leads to the pump tech or not the pump tech the qd this thing's rotted away so more than likely i'm just gonna have to cut everything out of the way i don't see any other option um yeah so <clears throat> we'll cut this stuff out I guess self clear dice and start cut. So you're gonna cut. You have two wires coming from there. Well, three actually. You're gonna have a ground as well. You're gonna have two powers in the ground. They're coming in. You, you'll know. Um, this one, I'll show you. So this one, these wires were on these two middle posts. So you're gonna cut those off. I can't tell if you guys can see or not. Um, these two middle posts right here, that, that was that chlorine injection outlet up there. 
And it's gonna have a ground down here somewhere too. Um, so you're gonna cut those wires out, take these ones off, and then take that off the wall. Um, and there should be enough here to swoop into the new LB or the new um, pressure switch. So let's get that going. Um, uh, yeah. So pretty much you just you're just demolishing everything that's in here, demoing everything, and then you're gonna go back in, fix it, make it look better. Um, like I said, I'm gonna redo the plumbing. So instead of it going 90 and down like it is right here and going down. I'm gonna go straight across the wall because um, I'm gonna put a T. I'm gonna put this T back in this one over here, just in case he wants to set it up later. That way, it's there. We don't have to worry about cutting in a T. Just take the plug out and go. Um, yeah. Okay, so I'll set you guys back up. One, cut this one, cut this one. I'm cutting them all. Screw it. Pretty tight now. with the customers all the time and you go, oh shit. That tends to scare them. Oh, what the hell, man? Why is that glued? Come on, peoples. Cut, cut. screws out of here. I'll try to cut it as short as I can in there. Come on. There, I'll just pull it out. There we go. Garbage. <laughs> okay. Um, so, like I said, what is going on with this? <coughs> Next is taking that off the wall. Uh, screwdriver Phillips. Uh, both of them are Phillips. So yeah, just thread these off. Oh, crap, but they hurt. I'll be right back, guys. I need to get a piece of cardboard for my knees. That thing hurts.
So if you guys are doing this at home, most likely you're not going to have a chlorine injection thing. So don't worry about this. But you can still watch. Gives you something to learn. that, huh? Jesus. Alright, so this thing's done. Good. That's annoying. Move. Okay. Yeah, so like I was saying, four times now. That's out. Okay, so now the next thing to do, um, you can, if you have a valve either outside your pump house or whatever, um, who's calling me? God. Um, shut it off. Um, that way you don't train your house. You don't have to wait so long to build pressure and all that. So shut that off. Um, I gotta redo all that anyways. Damn. Should take longer than I thought. Oh well. Uh yeah. So you're just cutting the pipes now. Getting everything out of the way. Make sure you change the check valve. Uh, so I'm gonna finish ripping all the stuff apart and I'll get back to you when I get the other stuff in here. Okay, so put all the fittings on. I use stainless steel so they don't rot out. Uh, and I don't use plastic because they get hot. Schedule 80, this will get hot, but not as fast. Um, this is stainless steel down here. And then I have Union. There could be a union there too coming off. Another Schedule 80 nipple and a brand new check valve. Tighten all this stuff up. Um, whatever fittings you want to use. Uh, I prefer stainless steel, like I said, um, it lasts longer. Um, and then, so once you get all that stuff on, then what you're going to do is you're going to get everything lined up where that you want it to go. And I'll show you right now. I will put this one on and then I'll get back to you guys once I get the pressure tank behind me. Uh, I'll get that in, plumbed in, uh, or at least ready to get plumbed in. Um, 
and yeah and then we'll show you how i dial it in and all that good stuff all right so i got the pressure tank set uh pressure pumps suction is in uh let's get the rest of it plumbed in and get it dialed in uh yeah set you guys up there First things first, I'm gonna do this. So we'll come off this fitting here, this union, over the key in right here. And we'll continue down, grab the pressure tank down on this side. Uh, we're gonna put the T there. Right, right around in here somewhere like that. And then this other one is gonna go right here with this plug for future use for the chlorine injection in case he wants to put it back in. Um, yeah. All right, so, leave this off. Always a good idea to write the date on the pump when you put it in. Uh, check valve two, that way they know it's new. Two, uh, 28, 23. Okay. Do, 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 do. Right. So I'm gonna grab a piece of pipe and the saw. Where's my saw? Oh, up there. Okay, so I need a piece to go. Not to be real very long. I just need to go to there. Off there. The least amount of waste, the better. Get off. Right. Junk. Take the ball valve out. I'm gonna put a new one outside. So I'm gonna cut this out. I'll leave some room on this ball valve though. Try to get most of the water out when you're doing this. Uh, it's kind of a pain in the butt trying to do this when it's wet. Why's my phone all glitchy? <laughs> Oh, 
Booger. What a booger. Go for it there. Darkness. Can't see. Where's my stuff? Where's my pen? There it is. Okay. Cut it off there. And I can leave that one. Okay. So now we push down and pull off. So now we'll cut this off. Oh, the well stopped. No more bumpy. Mosquito, get out of here. I don't like mosquitoes, damn it. Things that are annoying. <laughs> How 
have my co-worker bring me some fittings. Since uh, everybody thinks they need them more than me, I guess. Let me tell you, that's the most annoying thing in the world. Go to grab a part, it's not there. this again. It happens sometimes, guys. That happens. You mismeasure and then you're going, shoot. Yeah. There we go. That's better. So it doesn't move. That was the one that was there prior to me doing this. fitting in. Okay. So that's what that plug's for, is to plug this off. Um, you don't have to do that, but it's a good idea. Oh, come on, dude. Stay.
stop in there all the way. Okay. <sighs> yeah, this should be fun. All right, oh. From there to there. I'll cut that off right there. Put a little bit of room. This off there. Okay. Chuck in the center console. Okay, so we'll do that. Cut this off. It worked with you in just Tuesday. I think it was. I just I can't remember, dude. We were um, on the Monday. Veblen was our first job. It was voltage. Voit. I don't know what that says. Voltage tripping Tom Tech. Mm -hmm. um, truck drive back, clean truck, and wait for pace. That's when you went. Uh, we were all together um, that day. Uh, oh yeah, we were working at uh, Loomis. Yep. Yeah, I remember <coughs> that. Yeah. So I was at Loomis all day. Yep, you were actually. And I went home at like four thirty with Dawn. Did you? Yeah. Oh, that's right. Yeah, he took you with you. Yeah. They, they said they had to cut the losses or whatever. Huh? Cut the losses as in like. Less time for everyone. So, yeah. By the way. <coughs> and then Tuesday I worked with you all day. Yeah. Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna take a picture. Go for it. It's pretty much just plumb everything in. <laughs> <laughs> 
That's all you gotta do. Put your fittings in or anything like that, your glue in. Push it in, twist it, and hold it depending on what size it is. It's gonna take longer to hold. One inch, you can pretty much just push and turn and let go, that's it. So don't forget your plug, piped up that, put it back in. Over here, uh, you're probably not gonna have that. But this one is. Dude, thanks, man. Yeah, have a good day. And I'm gonna grab all them tires, or as many as I can, in my truck. Okay, I'm not gonna be home. Just grab them. I'm going to Ukiah after work. All right, for sure. That was my plan. All right. I put 35 PSI in the tank um, for composite tanks. It's 5 PSI below coating pressure. So this one for 35 in that, pressure switch to turn on 40 and turn off at 60. Steel tanks is 2 PSI. So if you want a 40 60 setting on your pump, it's going to be 38 PSI. Or if you want to do 30 50, it'll be 25 in the tank. Or steel tank is 28. Kind of get the concept now, I, I think. Make sure 
Okay, so we'll go over through here, up onto there. Push the wrench through there. in boom wires out smith it this way So you're gonna grab uh, spade connectors for electrical. Uh, I'm gonna go grab three of them and they're easier to use instead of trying to hold the wire in there and tighten everything up. It's just easier to just go, hmm, tighten it up. Uh, let me grab that. Under the ground. Oh, come on. Okay. Crimp. That's it there. Come on. Done. <laughs> All right. 
want to turn the suction valve on on the tank and make sure it doesn't leak on anything you just did. So there you have it, new pressure pump, new pressure tank. Uh, I kind of showed you how to plumb it in, all that, uh, how to adjust the, the pressure switch. So you got the big one, you know, the big one that I was messing with. Uh, that's for on, off pressure only. Um, if you want to do like 40, 70, uh, it's going to be the smaller one next to it. Uh, don't mess with those if you don't want to. Um, yeah, until next time, see you guys later.